for tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about watch command in Linux. We'll see what's the use of watch command in Linux with various examples. Yeah. So first of all, let's try to understand when we should use watch command in Linux. Uh, when we when we work on a Linux command line, uh, sometimes we want to execute a command periodically and check output of each execution. The watch command can help with that. Like uh, let's try to understand through an example. So here I'm going to. So as you know, date is a command which will give us the uh, current date and time, right? So let's say I would like to basically uh, uh, run this date command periodically. Right, then I will combine a uh, date com uh, command uh, with watch command. So here I am going to write watch and then after I am going to write date. And if I press enter, then here you can see uh, this date is getting refreshed in every two seconds, right? So default refresh time is two seconds. So in every two seconds, here if, if you find seven, then nine, then that should be eleven, something like that, right? So uh, refreshment time is uh, uh, by default is two seconds. Now uh, to come out from this uh, watch command, just you, and you need to press Ctrl C, and you will come out. Now uh, this interval time we can customize as well. So here I am going to write watch again. Sorry, watch, and to specify the interval command, you have to write minus n, and you need to specify the interval time in seconds. So here I am going to specify interval time in seconds one one second and i'm going to write the command date if i press enter then here you can see in every second this command is going to refresh so here you can see the increment of second every second it is going to, going to refresh and on the top you can see every one second uh, is written means in every one second this command is uh, getting refreshed or re-executed yeah again i'm going to press ctrl c to come out from watch command right now let's explore the next option here interval time also you can uh, specify in a uh, fraction so uh, or you can uh, here you can see how I'm going to specify next so I would write watch then minus n and here a refreshment time I can specify uh, 0.5 and uh, I would write date so uh, here you can see in every 0 0.25 seconds um, uh, this uh, basically uh, date command is going to re-execute re So here uh, you can specify uh, interval time in fraction as well, right? Uh, now uh, next option we'll see uh, uh, here you, you could have is observed, right? So when you execute this command on the top, uh, this is showing the in interval or in which interval time this command is getting re-executed apart from that some information like username and today's date if you want to hide this information right then we have option here you have to write watch and then minus t you will have to write minus 2 to hide the header right if you want to hide the header uh, in the output then you can specify this flag and i'm going to write uh, date if I press enter then here you can see default uh, basically uh, uh, default update time or uh, default uh, refresh time is uh, in every uh, two seconds and header has been hidden right now I'm going to press ctrl c to come out from this uh, watch command now next feature I would like to talk about highlight the difference uh, between updates that is the one of the beauty of watch command as well. So let's try to understand when uh, we can uh, use this feature. The output of the command we want to watch might not be simple as uh, we have seen in the previous few examples, right? It is not so easy for us to see the changes between updates, right? So the minus D option will highlight the differences between successive updates, right? For example, let's uh, monitor uh, memory users in every two seconds and highlight the changes for that we have a command is called watch watch sorry watch and here I'm going to specify the option is called minus D right and here I'm going to write the command is called free free 
command basically we used to check the uh, basically uh, uh, used and free memory uh, of the system right if I press enter then here you can see uh, here you can see wherever you you see their change happens right that gets highlighted right so it's a very basic, basically easy to identify uh, basically uh, where changes happens on the screen right so all the changes gets highlighted that's the beauty of uh, this uh, flag minus D flag right so that's all I wanted to show in this video tutorial guys I hope you enjoy on this video guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial